Quad call brought to you by Bunnings Warehouse. Just went John Denver's royalty payments look like going down. Charlie <laughs> pops up. And another clearance for Brisbane. McCarthy trying to get busy. Here's Charlie again. Cue that song back up. They're <laughs> inside board 50 again. Oh, McCarthy. Forward again, McCarthy, brilliant. Here's another one. Charlie gets his second red and magnificently off hands. He's gone back to back. Back and Ernie just stole it out of the ruck, threw it on the boot with a long kick. No mark in with McCarthy, and then running through Cameron. Raises the roof, he kicks two. Celebrations in Brisbane. It was one of the best moments of the yeah. season. The yeah. crowd was still singing as he kicked the next goal. We're inside the four walls here, Jordan Lewis. Welcome. Hey, boys. Hello, Professor. Uh, what? <laughs> it's his new nickname, oh. Professor Lewis. Stand by. Yeah. Well, because of the glasses. Yes. What you know you your footy? What are you then? No, I'm nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you like his new nickname? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, the professor. Uh, Any professor. bets that would have put a smile on your face, Charlie's exploits? Yeah, it did. And I, I was here um, at Fox Footy and we interviewed him after the game, but. It was the 200th game. He, had a, he actually had a quiet first half and he came out and kicked, kicked those two goals and the crowd were singing Country Road <laughs> even when the song went off. And then he came out and bobbed it and so they just continued to sing it. So, but, no, nah, he's an absolute superstar. You know, he's, from his move to Adelaide Crows, you know, there's a piece of me that want him to go back and win a grand final um, just because, you know, I've been there and I've played in a grand final with him and a losing grand final. So... Hopefully you can get that opportunity with the Brisbane. You line. should go to Brisbane. I watched that interview on Friday night. You should go to Brisbane and interview Charlie next week, OK? Pick All a right. day. We'll, we'll speak Fox to... will go up. We'll get a half an hour show. Who's, who's... The Eddie Betts, yeah. Eddie Betts and Charlie Cameron. We you reckon could... people won't watch that? Are we clear with management? <laughs> Or you... no, we, we'll, we'll be right. We'll be right. We'll be right. Well, you, Steve, we're probably are. Right. Right. We'll be right. We'll be right. We'll be right. We'll be right. We'll I agree. I, I don't make the calls. You went up and did Buddy. And neither do you. Yeah, but you didn't organise that. Someone else did. Yeah, you're dead bets, mate. You're bets. All right, before we delve yeah. into the games ahead of us, just the concussion issue as it presents this week, Jordan. Um, this is probably the most graphic concussion since yours. If you were to offer a thought or two to Angus Brayshaw right now, what would it be? Uh, yeah, it's, it's difficult. And the first thing that that I would say is that, uh, one, I'm clearly not a, a medical expert um, and I can only speak from, from experience. Um, and I've told this story before and, and my, my own experience was one of feeling OK during the week, feeling fine, no, no headaches, no symptoms, no nothing, I was able to sleep. Um, and because it was in season, I was able to, to train at a really low level. But it, but it, was, it was game day where I, where I really struggled. And that's, and that's the thing that... Um, I found really hard to, to overcome and, and it was a month. So it was a month of, of football, of high intensity football, home and away season. So once again, it's probably not as, as intense as, as what the finals will be like. Um, so if I was to have my time again, knowing what I went through and, and what I experienced uh, and, it, and it would have been tough to make this decision, I, I would have wanted a month of football. That, that's my own experience. That's. But you didn't at the time. I did. I didn't at the with time. Maturity now, and this is what we're having at the moment. These mature conversations. Yeah, but but it also comes with, uh, um, you know, thinking I was okay during the week. So so you convince yourself and you pass all the tests that are that are required. But then once you get to game day, that that was when you really struggled. And, and I've likened it to having sort of three or four beers prior to playing. And that is, that is something that, that I couldn't test for then. Were you comfortable with the decision? Of myself? Or no, my... Maynard's decision. Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 still, I still think there's elements of our game that need to be left for accidents. I, I, I don't believe he had... You know, people can argue to, to say that he's, he had other options, but, but he chose to jump up and smother. And then once that incident happened, I, I watched the entire weekend. You know how many people were jumping in the air trying to smother the ball? Heaps. Mm. Lots. But none collided with the play that was oncoming. So it does happen in our game. It was unfortunate for Angus that he, that he was knocked out in that incident uh, and it didn't look great, but, but I sit comfortably with him let off. 
to the here and the now. What should Carlton do, Eddie? They've got a couple of players to replace, Harry Mackay and Jack Martin. Yeah, they had some big losses too with Harry Mackay. I, I truly believe that biggest one is Jack Martin because since he came back into the side and got his injuries right, he's put the pressure on in that forward line and, you know, he's held it in there and, and Carlton now playing a lot more time and spending a lot more time in that forward half. And it, it is a tough de decision to make because we look, we've got Silvani, who I think is niggly and might yeah. not come back in. you got Motlop up sold. If I was the coach, <laughs> here we go, I would take Jesse um, from sub, put him on, just for that tackling ability inside that forward 50 and he can kick goals. I would maybe look at Kennedy, who is a big bull that can take Mark. Because you look at who they're playing. They're playing, come over against the Melbourne Demons. you got... Stephen May and Jake Lever, two of the best intercept marks in the competition, and they will double team. So play Charlie. Kennedy usually is a big body midfielder big, as, well, a, as, as a as a forward because he's shown when he has went down forward he can take a big grab and he can kick goals as well, and he's hard at it. So I would do that, uh, and maybe Holland as sub to bring him on and just whenever he comes on in the second half, just let him run as a half or flank and go up. But it is some. Uh, big decisions that they need to make but but even then if they don't make that decision you got you got the two big boys um, in the ruck that can play down forward as yeah, well so that, that's right yeah that's a little bit that, of that, that's yeah. what I'd say and, and the yeah. the biggest thing that Voss has to deal with is because De Koning played well against Gorn last time so so that matchup he would have have full confidence for that to eventuate. Would he start with that or oh, go with Pitnett? Th th this this is the way that game. I would do it and I'm not a coach I clearly don't have enough information that, but I would say Pitnett in the ruck to yeah. go head on, uh, head to head with Gorn, I'd play De Koning down forward to support Charlie Kerno and yeah. make the big boys accountable. And you, he's athletic enough, he's jumpy enough, he, he he's a um, he's aggressive down there. I quite like that matchup down forward. He but he doesn't kick Ra goals. Rather, rather than a, rather than Kennedy, I, I just think De Koning offers so much more than what a Kennedy would would offer against a main lever. Could Pitnett play a lot more forward no. because of what De Koning no. did? Against no. Matt Pitto, Pitto's not a forward. Pitto, it's the same Gorn and Grundy. Pitto Pitt, yeah. is a ruckman, and and that is where he where he excels yep. in that position. He's not he's not a forward. The Melbourne side of things inside the four walls. So straight sets last year, they find themselves against a, almost a flip of the coin opponent on what we saw last time. Can can it infiltrate? What what happens after you lose the qualifying final? Yeah, it's uh, it, it is difficult, but. But I, I think they got a good sample size when they played Carlton last time and they got a good sample size on the weekend. So if we see what happened in both those, those games on repeat, well, they probably deserve to go out in straight sets. If, now, now, they need to change, personally, I think, the way that they move the ball. And, and I've always been big on offence and that's probably the one thing that I watch. Their defence is sound, their midfield sound. Offence is... We, we'd like to see more creativity. Quickly, well, um, from what to what? How, it's long bombs? We'll, we'll, we'll move the ball off the line. It, I think you, you, would, line, you, would have seen, you would have seen the game and it was pretty yeah, obvious what was. was on repeat. So what would you um, want? With more 45 or...? or well, more 45s. More 45, more 45 switch the ball. Um, yeah. If the ball comes in one way, try and go out the other. It's, it's really yeah. simple, basic stuff. But, but they they're not doing to, it. So it's a they, coaching tactic. But they're aware of it. So, so that's, that's the thing. It's up to the players to actually execute what is required. So Goodwin's telling them to do that? Well, there's conversations happening in-game about what the general feel and the general style of the game is and yet no one's able to change it. So I, I firmly believe it is upon the players this week to dictate the way that they play. Who, who do they bring in then as a forward? You've got Grundy, you've yeah, got a, there, you've got <laughs> yeah, Brown. It's a, it's a tough... Yeah. They, they could bring in... Brown's they, not, they, they could bring in Charlie Kerno, and if they move the ball the same way, he still won't have a chance. Okay. So <laughs> for me, it's further... What happens further up the field, yeah, okay. I would like to see them go smaller than taller. But that would be a decision that they make. All right, inside the four walls. Good luck for well the done. weekend's events. Eddie Betts and Jordan Lewis. Our Betts watch list Lewis. next. <laughs> David King and Lee Montagna. Where should your eye be as this weekend? Done?